Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Laravel on Windows 11. Okay, let's get started. Let's open Google Chrome and then search for Laravel. Okay, click on Laravel official website and then click on documentation. Scroll down. So this is how you install Laravel on your computer. So you need to install PHP and Composer on your computer. Okay, let's go to uh, Sam to install PHP on our computer. Okay, click over here. Sam is the software package that include PHP, MariaDB, Perl, and Apache server. Okay, click on download over here. And then I recommend you to download version 8 of PHP because Laravel 9 only support PHP version 8. Okay, click on download over here. So if the download doesn't start automatically, you can click here and click on download the latest version over here. Okay, you can close this one and close this one. The file is quite big. It's 147 megabytes. So it's going to take for a while, depend on how fast is your internet. Okay, after the download is done, you, you click over here and click on show in folder and double click on the files to install the file on your computer. Click on yes. Click OK. Click on next and click on next and click on next and click on next and click on next. The installation will take for a while. Okay, then click on finish. Then the same control panel will pop up. You can start Apache or you can start MySQL. And then you can close it. Or you can right click over here and quit to exit the software. So if you see an error like this, I will tell you how to solve it. I'll close the program. Okay, this is how you solve it. After you close it, you go to C drive and go to SAM folder. And scroll down, you will see SAM control. Right click on these files and go to property. And then go to compatibility. And then check on run this program as an administrator. Click on apply. And click on OK. So let's open SAM again. Click on yes. Okay, if you close it and then you go here and quit it. So you see no error right now. Let me close this one. Uh, and then if you see this pop up, just click allow to access. And this one to allow to access. And the next thing that you have to install is Composer, okay? Let's click on Composer over here and then download the Composer. And then click on Composer setup.exe. We can go back to uh, Laravel documentation. And then over here, you will see Composer setup.exe files, show in folder, click on the files. Click over here, install for all user. Click on yes, click on next, and then you have to make sure that uh, PHP path is correctly. Here is in C drive and SAM PHP and php.exe. And then click on add this path to your path. Okay, click on next and click on next and click on install. Click on next and then click on finish. Close this one. Okay, let's check if Composer is installed. Uh, let's go to terminal. Okay, window terminal, and then type composer. Okay, if it shows something like this, that means composer is installed correctly. So right now we are using composer version 2.4.4. Okay, you can close it. Uh, the next thing that they recommend is Node.js. So you can install it on your computer as well. So the installation is pretty simple. Just click download the long term version. When the download is done, just show in the folder. Double click on the files and click next 
check it and then click next 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 install click on yes finish okay notice it's installed on our computer right now okay the next thing you have to run this command this command is a composer command that's used to install laravel on your computer okay copy it and then let me exit this one Okay, let's go to drive C and go to SAM and then let's go to htdocs here and then right click here and click on open terminal. Okay, make sure SAM is open. Okay, and you have to make sure that Apache is running and MySQL is running as well. It, uh, for MySQL, it doesn't matter, but just make sure it's running. So you can close this one and then just paste the command over here. So we are going to create a new Laravel project and the name of the project is example-app. You can change this name to whatever you want. For example, I'm going to change it to sample Laravel app. Okay, hit enter. So it's going to download Laravel and install on this folder for me. See, you will see sample Laravel.app. But you have to wait until it's done so you can access the folder and running the application. If you install this for the first time, it's going to take for a while because it have to download everything on the internet. Okay, the installation is done. You can access the folder by typing CD and the folder name. For example, CD sample Laravel app. Hit enter. Okay, then go back to the documentation. Then you can run php artisan serve php artisan serve so if you click on over here you will see that our application is running on ip 127.0.0.1 and port 8000 see this is our application so this is relevant application uh, and this is the folder of the code you can open this code with a Visual Studio code. So if you have Visual Studio code, you can open the folder with this uh, code editor. Okay, I highly recommend you use this tag editor. Click on here to download it. If you have it on your computer, you don't have to download it and install it. And if you want to stop this Laravel server, you just type a Control C on your keyboard and the application is stopped. If you go back to the application here and you refresh it, you won't be able to access the application because it's already stopped. So to start server again, you can type PSP artisan serve. Then the server will running on this IP number and port. You can press control and click on this link on the keyboard to open it on the web browser. So you will see it's over here. Alright, if you want to open this folder with Visual Studio Code, okay, let's open Visual Studio Code. And then you just drop this folder over here. Okay, click on Yes, Trust. Okay, this is the code of Laravel application that we've installed on our computer. Alright, this is all about this tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.